Okay, now we're going to look at section uh, six of the mock assessment, which is all about hardware and software influences. So thinking about how certain hardware or software that you need to have in place for you to use whatever it is that you plan to use. Now, I've made a little note here to tell you that if you go to page 12 to 13 of the book, which is here, um, you should be able to basically get the inf information from here that help that will help you maximize those marks in this section um, of the coursework. So you can see that there's a number of things you need to look at. You need to look at the operating uh, system and the platforms. You need to look at the display type and size, the method of user input, the sources. So, excuse me, the resources available, and any any emerging technologies. So you will spend some time in lesson going through this chapter once you understand this you should be able to come back here and talk about it so what is that you need to talk about well first things first you need to think about how the user interacts with the device so you know if it's just a new system that they're going to be you're going to be making is it going to be something they use on the phone which means they can have a smaller screen than on a laptop or a screen or a computer is it going to be something they're going to use on a computer? If they if they do, then they have more real estate. They have a larger screen to work with, and also, all of a sudden, they're not using a finger anymore. They're using a mouse. Um, is it going to be on a tablet, which means it is larger, but there's no mouse involved? So you have to think about those themselves. You need to then compare the hardware we use when computers uh, when on computers versus mobile phones. So you can talk about the pros and cons of using a finger and, and, and a touch screen uh, versus a mouse and a cursor. What's, you know, what about the keyboard? Is that better or worse? What are the good things and bad things of using a physical uh, keyboard versus a touch screen keyboard? Uh, some of you will say, well, straight away, you know, if a physical keyboard, you have something that you feel and you don't have anything coming. It's large and also it doesn't come on the, in the way of the screen. Yeah, because if you have a touch screen keyboard, then it's gonna take part of your screen away because it's putting the keyboard there now, so therefore you'll have less to look at and you don't know what you're typing into or it makes it more difficult because you're in the way. Same thing when you're uh, clicking on touchscreen uh, tablets, you're using your finger, therefore your hand and finger is coming in the way. Um, but then the other, the other side is that you might say, well, you know, that means you're going to need a keyboard, which means um, more hardware, therefore more time, more cost. Also, there's more things to break. If it breaks, it costs more time and money as well. So there's a number of different pros and cons for that. So you need to discuss all of those different things for this section here. But as I said, this chapter is very, very, very important. This is key um, for you to do well in the section, talking about operating systems and so on and so forth. Um, just check one other thing before we move on because I do remember yeah so that should be enough really to get that information there so um, but like I said it's you have to know this information and I'm not gonna go through it right all now because it's really down to yourself to read through this and understand go for these activities and get this here um, you know the display type and size make a big difference I mean look at those pictures here if you look here, you can see, you know, even though they all look similar because they've got the same background, it's not because if you look at the tablet, you sorry, the, the, the laptop on the desk with the AI Mac, uh, you've got the Mac at the back, it's got more space and therefore it's spaced out a little bit more. Whereas here on the tablets and on the phone, those icons that are found at the bottom are actually on the main part of the screen. So because of limited space, they have to do that. So you have to think about those things, you know, with certain devices, more or less space will dictate how your design will be shown ultimately at the end. Um, what about the input method? I mean, you've got this little table here. Are they using a keyboard or a mouse? Are they using voice or gestures? What are the pros and cons for each one of them? Which one do you prefer? Why? What do they have? Uh, in terms of you know the the power on their on the computers, their laptops, you know, do they have an up to date soft uh, a laptop with uh, you know with regular updates and so on and so forth? Or so is it pretty old? What CPU are they running? What RAM do they have? These items you need to know uh, because it will dictate how powerful the computer processing power is. And if it's not that powerful, then that means you know, a, a complex user interface may be uh, very very slow and laggy and therefore put people off um, 
But then if you want the top of the range laptop or computer or hardware in your computer, therefore that's going to be more costly. So, you know, all these things you need to consider. Now, if you don't know what CPU and RAM are, you've got to do your own research. You see it there on the side and you should have a copy of it in your book as well. Emerging technologies, boys and girls, is just talking about how technology is always changing. Things are always coming in, brand new stuff, you know, laptops nowadays. Now, you know, you can get a laptop and within 30 days it's, it's old it's obsolete there's something else newer there's a new brand you know there was a time when mobile phones came out they were upgraded once every two years now um you get one every six months brand new one every six months so uh, by the time you upgrade your phone which most contracts are two years you you know you, there's been four the phones since yours so you know really just make you feel like as if you're you know you've got something really really old because there are other things already available so the new technology though and what we want to focus on here is that what is that technology you know what is actually being brought to the table and what is being made easier is something available now that makes something uh, quicker easier or uh, reduces the times uh, makes things less complicated what so you have to understand this here as well now hopefully once you've done this lesson if you've done this lesson then this section here section six should be a lot easier